It's Rob on the Road, discovering the stories that capture the unique spirit of Northern California. Here's KVIE's Rob Stewart. Welcome to the artist studio of John Krempel in Sacramento. Good to see you, John. Hi, Rob. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And we are surrounded by beautiful art. You are well known for your you. style. Tell me about it. My style uh, mostly is abstract, very thick with paint and texture and color, very emotional, very many layers, kind of break through some of the layers to get into the depth of the painting. I create that by using a lot of uh, different unconventional ways of mixing paints, whether it's water-based paints with oil-based paints, and they get clumpy, mm -hmm. and that way they, they create texture and, and cracking, and uh, I can sometimes pull them apart then as they're drying. I uh, use sanding and all kinds of techniques to that. You mentioned something that I want to go right to, and that is you said that they're emotional. You were a psychologist, correct? Yes. Psychotherapist? Psychotherapist. And you changed careers? Yes. Tell me about that. Um, after so many years of dealing with people's emotions, it got oh, that's tough. Somewhat, somewhat tiresome. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had been into the art scene for many years. I uh, just couldn't really pursue it. Somebody had seen a piece of my art and asked if I would put an art show together. Hmm. And that was about nine years ago. And I wasn't quite sure if I could do it by myself. I had never done anything like that. Uh, so I got a group of people together and started a little group called Temporary Artist Group. And we put an art show together. And ever since then, that was in 2003, it has just taken, my art's just taken off. I've done something like 90 shows so My goodness. Far. Your um, pieces of art are all over the city. They hang in office buildings and in homes all across Northern California as well. What does it make you feel when you see your art hanging in, in someone's home or office? It's, it's very surreal and uh, somewhat humbling. To me, my pieces of art are very personal and they have a lot of my feelings into it. And so to put kind of my, my heart and my feelings out there for people to look at and critique, it, it can be very, very uh, difficult sometimes. So as a psychologist and now as an, an artist, do you see sort of a mix, so to speak, with the platform? You know, do you pour your emotions into your work? Absolutely. As a way of expressing my emotions, my feelings, especially with color and texture, I want to talk to you more about, about the emotional connection with you because art is emotional, whether you're creating it or whether you're looking at it. Mm -hmm. You have the benefit of being able to bring your psychology into your artistic expression. Yes. Talk to me about that. When I start a painting, I have an idea in my head what I want to portray. Um, the thing that I am most interested in is how I'm going to construct that painting to get that feeling across. I usually want lots of texture. If layers. Layers, lots of layers. Which relates to emotions. Yeah, yeah, and the colors too. Very hot colors, very, very warm colors. And a lot of my moods end up in my paintings too. Really? Yeah. When you paint, do you get lost in your work? Absolutely. I have a release of feelings, and it's the most calm I ever feel when I'm painting. A lot of tension just leaves my body, uh, kind of transforms me somewhat. Um, well, it's expression. It is. It is, and a lot of people don't realize that, and I think that's why it's so difficult sometimes. Uh, when I put a show on the night before, a lot of times I, I can't sleep because people don't realize that I'm putting my emotions, my feelings, along with my piece of work out there for everybody to see. I can tell that your art, as I look around your studio, and art is everywhere, not in just your studio, but in your home, that art really is something to your soul. It really is. Um, most of my home is filled with other people's art. I love to study it uh, because I know what it took 
for them to get that piece to that point. Um, time, energy, effort, thought, emotion, feeling. I love to ask artists of any realm this question because you're typically doing your craft for someone else. But does it move you too when you look at your work? Um, most of the time it does. Sometimes it doesn't. And if it doesn't move me, then it gets put in a pile of paintings that, that sit there for a couple of years and I pull them out and work on them again. Then I have a totally different perspective with what they're about. Um, I no longer remember the feelings or anything I had at that time or what I put into it. So I can, it's almost like starting over. That's really cool that your work has I, to matter I, to you. Well, I call those pieces blanks, even though they're not blanks. They're actually pieces of art that have been worked on. Mm. But then I started as a blank, but it's really not a blank because it already has texture on it, already has colors on it, and I just start over from there. I also want to ask you, are you self-taught? I am self-taught somewhat. Um, I have a master's degree. I, I had taken um, some art classes in college, but most of my art is, is all from inside here. And inside there. And inside here. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's mostly self-taught, yes. I'll know when it's finished. I'll know when I'm there, when I'm at that point. It's almost like processing emotions. Right, absolutely. You know when you get there and you know when it's done. Absolutely, absolutely. And I can start off a day in a really bad mood and by the time I'm done at the end of the day working on some paintings, I'm in the best, most calm place that I could possibly be. It's better than therapy. <laughs> and that's coming from a therapist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, John, thank you so much. It is thank such you, a pleasure Rob. to meet you. I was fascinated with your story blending psychology and art because they really are the perfect fit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good to see thank you. Thanks for letting us in your studio. Absolutely. Here in Sacramento with artist John Triple. To explore other places with Rob, log on to kvie.org slash Rob on the Road. This Rob on the Road is sponsored by the Sacramento Metropolitan Arts Commission.